Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one rational equation challenge. It is 9 minus x over x plus 1 plus 9 minus x whole square over x times x plus 1 whole square equal to 20 over x square. So let's get started. Why writing denominator cannot be 0. So we will restrict 0 and negative 1 from our answer list. As denominator is having x plus 1, so negative 1. Denominator is having x, so 0. Now x is non-zero. So I can multiply both sides with x square. So let us multiply x square and this side also x square. So x square and x square will be over. Let's expand now. x square 9 minus x over x plus 1 plus x times 9 minus x over x plus 1 whole square equal to 20. Now I will use substitution. So let us consider x equal to a and 9 minus x over x plus 1 equal to b. Let's apply this substitution to our equation then equation will become x square so a square 9 minus x over x plus 1 so b plus x so a and whole square of b equal to 20. I can see a b is common I will take a b common in bracket it would be a plus b left equal to 20. Now I will presume al a b as alpha let us consider a b alpha and if I will consider a plus b as beta then this is product of roots like given and it is 20. Now my target is to find out alpha plus beta so that we can frame one quadratic to figure out alpha and beta values. So let me consider alpha beta equal to 20 and now I will calculate alpha plus beta. So what was alpha? Alpha was AB. What was beta? Beta was A plus B. Remember A was X and B was 9 minus X or X plus 1 or 1 plus X. Let us find out alpha plus beta. So I will write here AB plus A plus B. Let's put the value of A and B. So a is x, b is 9 minus x over x plus 1. Then again a, so x, again b, so 9 minus x over x plus 1. Take LCM. So denominator will be x plus 1. Now I will take x times 9 minus x. So 9x minus x square x times x plus 1. So x square plus x and only 9 minus x. Check what will be cancelled out. x and minus x. Okay. x square and minus x square. So you can see it is left 9x plus 9 over x plus 1. So 9 is common. We will write x plus 1 over x plus 1. So this term will be over. I will get 9. Now point is alpha plus beta. We have known now 9 it is. Alpha beta is 20. So let me consider alpha plus beta 9. Sum of roots like and product of roots 20. So let us frame one equation whose summation of roots 9 product of roots 20. So I can consider in variable t. So I will write t square minus 90 plus 20 equal to 0. To find out alpha and beta, we will solve this quadratic equation. Let's solve this one. t square minus 90 plus 20 equal to 0. Roots alpha and beta for we will solve it. Now I will write t equal to minus b. 
so 9 plus minus under the root b square so 81 minus 4ac so 80 divided by 2a so 2 so 9 plus minus square root 1 is 1 divided by 2 with plus sign it will be 10 over 2 with minus sign it will be 8 over 2 so our t value becomes 5 and 4 now constraint is what is t t is alpha beta now we will frame one system of equation for t equal to 5 and one system for equation for t equal to 4 because we know the value of alpha and beta so let's frame if i will consider a b equal to 5 that means i am taking t as 5 a b equal to 5 then a plus b i am considering 4 and this is one system and second system would be if a b equal to 4 then i am taking a plus b equal to 5 we have to solve these two systems for the value of a and b and remember a is our unknown x for which we will solving this equation so our target is to find out a that is x so let us consider the first system a b 5 a plus b equal to 4 a plus b equal to 4 so sum of roots product of roots i can frame equation quadratic in a a square minus 4 a plus product of root 5 equal to 0 or you can write the value of b and substitute in the second equation b equal to 5 over a you will be getting same equation let's solve this one so i will use quadratic formula minus b so 4 plus minus under the root b square so i will be writing 16 minus 4 a c so minus 20 divided by 2 a so 2 4 plus minus square root of minus 4 divided by 2 square root of negative 1 we know it is complex value or complex number i so i can write 4 plus minus i and square root 4 is 2 over 2 divide by 2 so i will write 2 plus minus i so from here we are getting two complex solutions and a is equal to x as per our substitution so 2 plus minus i complex solutions now let us consider system number 2 it was a b equal to 4 a plus b equal to 5 a b equal to 4 a plus b equal to 5 again we can frame one equation let me call in a only because a and b are the roots of the equation so i can directly put a a square minus sum of roots times variable so i will write 5a plus 4 equal to 0 let's apply formula again minus b 5 plus minus under the root b square 25 minus 4ac 16 divided by 2a so it will become 5 plus minus square root 9 over 2 so a equal to 5 plus minus 3 over 2 5 plus 3 so 8 over 2 5 minus 3 so 2 over 2 from here we are getting x equal to a equal to 4 and 1 so 4 and 1 are two real values or real solutions so let's check only real values verification i will put first x equal to 4 so lhs will become 9 minus 4 so 5 4 plus 1 so 5 plus 9 minus 4 so 5 is square 25 over 4 times 5 is square so 25 so i can cancel 25 and 25 so it will become 1 plus 1 over 4 so this value is coming out 5 over 4 now come to rhs 
RHS will be 20 over x square, so 16. If I will cancel with 4, so 4 fives are 20, 4 fours. So both sides are same. So this value is true and verified. Now let us consider x equal to 1. I will put x equal to 1. So 9 minus 1, 8. 1 plus 1, 2. Plus 9 minus 1, 8. 8 square is 64. Over x, 1. 1 plus 1, 2 square is 4. Now 2, 4 is 8. And this we will cancel by writing 16. So left hand side becomes 4 plus 16, 20. Now come to the RHS part. This was LHS. Now I will calculate RHS 20 over x square. So 1 square. It is equal to 20. Both values are same. So we are having two real and two imaginary solutions. Let me write here 4 and 1 and two complex solutions 2 plus minus i. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.